This is part 25 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating the partial templates that is home.html, courses.html and students.html. This is continuation to part 24, so please watch part 24 before proceeding. One important thing to keep in mind when creating partial templates is that within our layout template, which is this index.html, we already have the surrounding HTML. When I say surrounding HTML, we are talking about this root HTML element, this head element, and all these elements within this head section, and this body element. So all the surrounding HTML is already present in this layout template. So there is no need for the same surrounding HTML to be present in the partial templates that we are going to create now. All of our partial templates are going to be in a different folder. So let's add a new folder to our project. I'm going to name this templates. Now, the first template that we want to add is this home.html template. So this is going to be our partial template. So let's right click on the folder, add a new item. And we want to add an HTML file. And let's call this home.html. And this is how we want the home partial template to be like. Okay, so we want this title here and then the static content. In the interest of time, I have already typed all this static content. So let's copy it from the notepad. And let's paste it within this home.html partial template. So I'm going to get rid of all that surrounding HTML and paste the static content that we have just copied. Now we want this title as well. This title is going to come from the dollar scope object. So we are going to have a home controller which is responsible for this view and this home controller is going to set up a property on the dollar scope object. Let's say the property name is message and from that message property we are going to get this page title. So just about the static content I'm going to include h1 element and here we will have message property. In our next video we'll discuss how to create the home controller. So that's our home partial template. Now the next template that we want to create is this courses template. So let's go ahead and add another HTML file to our templates folder and let's call it courses.html And again, I'm going to get rid of all this surrounding HTML from courses.html. And this is how we want our partial template to be. So that's going to be the title. So I'm going to include h1 and we want this text, courses we offer. And then we want you know, an unordered list of the courses that we offer. These courses are actually going to come from a property on the dollar scope object. And who is going to set that property on the dollar scope object? The courses controller is going to do that. We'll discuss creating the courses controller in our next video. So we are going to have an unordered list. And we are going to have a list item. And we are going to use ng-repeat directive. So for each course, in courses. So this courses property is going to be set by the courses controller on the dollar scope object. So what do we want to do with each course? We just want to display that. So that is our courses.html partial template. Finally, we want our students partial template. So let's add another HTML file to the templates folder. And I'm going to call this students.html. Let's get rid of the surrounding HTML. So the list of students are actually going to come from a database table. So the first step here is to create that database table, which I have already done. So here is that table. And here is the SQL script to create and populate it with test data. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. The next step is to include a connection string to our database, which I have already done. So here to the project, I have added web.config file and we have a connection string that points to the database. We need to have another setting here and that setting is to basically enable HTTP GET 
protocol for the ASP.NET web service. And I have already typed the required setting in the interest of time. So let's copy that and paste it within our web.config file. So basically this setting is going to tell to enable HTTP GET for our ASMX web service. The next step is to create a class, a student class. Now if you look at the students table, it has got these columns, ID name, gender and city. We are going to have a student class with corresponding properties, ID name, gender and city. So let's go ahead and add a class file to our project. And let's call this student.cs. And this class is going to have these properties. So let's copy them and paste it within our class. ID name, gender, and city. Now the next step is to add our ASP.NET Web Service, which is going to retrieve data from the database. So let's right click on our project, add a new item. And the item that we want to add is an ASMX Web Service. And let's call this studentservice.asmx. In the interest of time, I have already typed the required code for this uh, web service. This is nothing related to Angular. So let me quickly copy and paste this within our web service. And let's quickly test our web service just to make sure it's retrieving the data that we want. So we have our student service.asmx. And if you look at the student service, we have exposed a method here, get all students. So let's quickly test that. So we have that method here, get all students. When we invoke that, look at that. We get all the students from the database. So our web service is working. Now we want our students template to be like this. We want, you know, list of students as the title and then an unordered list of student names. So to our templates, we have already added students.html. First of all, to get the title, I'm going to use h1 list of students. And let's include an unordered list and a list item. And on this list item, let's use ng repeat. And let's loop through each student. So for each student in students, so the student's property will be on the dollar scope object, which will be set by the student's controller. So the student's controller, which we are going to uh, write in our next video, is going to call the web service, retrieve the data, and then um, set up a property called students on the dollar scope object. We are then looping through each student within that collection. And what do we want to do? We just want to display the student name. So let's use a data binding expression student dot and if you look at the name property it's actually name with a small letter n so student dot name so we have all of our partial templates ready so in our next video we'll discuss configuring angular js routes and creating the required controllers that is home controller courses controller and students controller thank you for listening and have a great day